How's it going everybody? It's Zach Ng here again, back with another video. We're here with my friend Moon, and then his friend Luke is in the house right now, lying on the couch. He was too lazy to film this intro, but um, yeah, we just went diving, so we're gonna eat lunch and wash the gear, and while we're doing that, you guys can check out our footage, so I'll see you guys after. Alright guys, so Luke and Moon said I should start doing voiceovers again for my videos, so here we go. First drop, I saw this nice looking ditch in the ground and I figured there's probably fish on it since most of the area is flat. So I kind of went under this ledge, having the reel really gives me a lot more freedom than I used to have um, in terms of hiding. But yeah, just looked at the ground a little bit, kind of trying to hide my eyes, scratching, grunting, you know, dusting sand just trying to call in something. It was really dirty, so a lot of the times we were taking blind drops. But yeah, I started to bring in a small pile of Kala and other like Polanis and Nai Nai, stuff like that. And I look to my left, I see a big Nenue coming in. So I kind of just waited until he was right in front of me, coming head on, and then boom, pulled the trigger. Nanue are super common, but a lot of people don't shoot them and they are confused as to why I shoot them. But they honestly make really good poke. If you ever see a big Nanue or a good sized Nanue, try shooting it. They taste really good if you make the poke right. And it's really not that hard to make the poke right, so just try it out. I think it's pretty good. My dad thinks it's pretty good, but you know, maybe that's just a personal taste. But yeah, good size Nanue, one of the bigger ones that I've shot in my career. Okay, so right here, I here's what happened. I forgot to hit record when I hit the bottom, but I shot a big blue hoo while I was on the bottom, came charging in like a bull, turned broadside, I just pulled the trigger, I didn't have time to start my camera. And he actually was so strong that he ripped the gun out of my hand, I wasn't holding it tight enough. But yeah, it's a, it was a solid uhu. I don't really know how I landed it because he was really strong and my shot was terrible. It was really low in the guts. Throughout this whole day, my shots were pretty off. They were always low or kind of, behind where I was aiming, but it was all right because I ended up landing this guy. He was pretty, pretty big. We ended up weighing him at Luke's house. He was about eight and a half pounds, a little more than eight and a half. I think it was 8.6 or something like that. But yeah, really big Uhu. Not quite my biggest. My biggest Uhu ever was 10.1 pounds, but still a really solid Uhu. Okay, here comes the heartbreaker. It hurts me every single time that I watch this, but at the same time, I can't stop watching it. Uh, if you guys are following my Instagram, you probably have already seen this. I posted it on my story, but here we go. I get down to the bottom because I've seen a good pile of fish, some Joes, some other stuff like that. 
So I'm just on the bottom. I start dusting and scratching just the usual stuff to try and call stuff in. There's a ton of fish over there. Big pualus, lots of nai nai, palanis, all that kind. But I was looking for other fish and I see a moo. I don't know if you can see it, but he's right in the distance there. And he starts going into that ditch. I land on my gun, pull the trigger. The moose starts running. I drop my gun to swim at it because I realize that my shot is terrible. It's right by the tail. And here's my mistake. I grab the shaft. And when I grab the shaft, it prevents him from pulling the shaft and using his energy. And instead he just pulls. The shaft isn't moving. So he rips himself right off and just heartbroken. But in this drop, I was actually looking for him again. I was trying to uh, see if I could find him, see if I could see him swimming around wounded but I didn't have a lot of hope because it wasn't a great shot. It wasn't in the vitals or anything. It was just right by his tail, so he's gonna be fine. Unfortunately for me, because I really would have liked to have that moon. He was a good four and a half pounder, but this drop, I just see a moonu in the distance and just line up my gun, take my shot. It's hard to see, he's kind of far away, but I stoned him. And I was all salty about losing that moo. It was literally the drop before this that I lost that moo and I was still salty about it, but you know. Good size moonu, solid. Here's the fish. There's my moonu. That Mimpachi is Luke's. Luke shot that one. And he also shot a, a small toa as well. Moon just ended up having a fat headache um, while we were out there, unfortunately, but yeah. Here's the big Ninue and the big Uhu struggling to fit the Uhu in the cooler. His tail's kind of sticking out a little bit. Yeah, that was a big Ninue too. Yeah, all my shots were all off today. I, I don't know why. Uh, I got to tune in my gun again probably, but yeah, it was tough. It cost me a moo, but I did get that big Uhu. I'm pretty grateful for that. The big Ninue is going to feed my family for a long time. Uh, that Nanu is going to make some good poke, so I'm pretty grateful about that. Yeah, anyway, it's a pretty sick dive. Um, shoots. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a blast. It was honestly a super awesome dive. Got that big Uhu. I'm super stoked about it. That big Nanue, but a little bit heartbroken over that moose still. I can't stop thinking about it, and I'm sure I'm going to have nightmares about it for days, but... Yeah, super big shout out to Moon and Luke for being great dive partners today, watching my back and everything like that. And I hope you guys had fun. Uh, check out their uh, Instagram and YouTube. I'll leave Moon's YouTube down in the description below. He'll be one of the links down there. And so will Luke's Instagram. So go check those guys out. They're super good fishermen, super good divers. They got action all the time on their channel and on their Instagram. So check it out. And yeah, but real quick before the video ends, um, I just wanted to let you guys know, these shirts right here, they got the USA Spearfishing logo made by Salt Life. Uh, they're helping to fund the world spearfishing team for our Team USA to go compete up in Italy for Worlds. And um, it's a little bit of a fundraiser kind of thing. And if you guys could um, click on the link, I'll leave the link down in the description below to Salt Life, the, they're, they have these shirts for sale and um, yeah, it, it'll just be a big help to um, send our team up to Worlds to uh, go dive and represent us and hopefully get that dub. I'll leave that in, in the description. Go check that out if you get the chance. And if you already have one, uh, if you could do us a huge favor and go ask your friends to buy one or ask your family members to buy one, anyone who might be interested, uh, it'll really help the team a lot get up to Worlds uh, in Italy. Real quick before I sign out for today's video, I want to mention really quickly that I have a TikTok account that the username will be in my description below. I post short clips, um, catch and cook, stuff like that. And the Uhu that I shot today, I'll be doing a catch and cook on it and I'll be putting it onto TikTok. So if you guys want to see that and other videos like that, go check out my TikTok. Once again, the username is in the description below and I'd appreciate it if you guys would check that out. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys could like and subscribe, that would really help out the channel a lot and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Shoots everybody.